Title, Sands of Destiny. Chapter 1, The Desert Queen. In the heart of the scorching desert, where the sun rains mercilessly and the sands whisper ancient secrets, there lies the kingdom of Sarandal. At its helm stands Queen Selene, a woman of unmatched beauty and strength, whose rule is as unyielding as the dunes that stretch endlessly around her domain. Queen Selene's kingdom is a bastion of civilization amidst the harsh wilderness, a testament to her wisdom and prowess as a ruler. Yet, despite her power, whispers of discontent stir among her subjects, fueled by envy and ambition. As the scorching sun dips below the horizon, casting the desert in shades of crimson and gold, Queen Selene stands atop the highest tower of her palace, her gaze fixed on the horizon. She senses a storm brewing, both within her kingdom and beyond its borders, and she knows that she must tread carefully to navigate the treacherous sands of politics and intrigue. Chapter 2 the nomads call. Far beyond the borders of Sarandal, in the vast expanse of the desert, a lone figure rides across the dunes on the back of a majestic sand steed. This is Zephyr, leader of the Sand Storm Warriors, a nomadic tribe feared and respected by all who dwell in the desert. Zephyr's eyes gleam with determination as he surveys the horizon, his mind filled with visions of conquest and glory. For years, he has watched from afar as Queen Selene's influence has grown, her kingdom expanding like a shadow across the sands. Now, he senses an opportunity to challenge her reign and claim dominion over the desert for his own. Gathering his warriors, Zephyr sets out on a quest to unite the scattered tribes of the desert under his banner, rallying them with promises of freedom and riches beyond imagination. With each passing day, his army grows stronger, fueled by the burning desire for vengeance against the queen who has dared to defy them. Chapter 3, Shadows of Betrayal. As whispers of rebellion echo through the streets of Sarandal, Queen Selene finds herself beset by enemies on all sides. Dark forces conspire against her, seeking to undermine her rule and seize power for themselves. Among those plotting her downfall is Lord Malachi, a cunning nobleman whose ambition knows no bounds. With his silver tongue and scheming mind, he weaves a web of deceit and treachery, drawing unsuspecting allies into his fold. Unbeknownst to Queen Selene, one of her most trusted advisors has already fallen prey to Malachi's machinations, secretly pledging allegiance to the would-be usurper in exchange for promises of wealth and power. As the queen struggles to maintain order within her kingdom, the seeds of betrayal are sown, threatening to tear apart the fragile fabric of society and plunge Sarandal into chaos. Chapter 4, The Dance of Shadows. In the heart of the desert, amidst the swirling sands and howling winds, Queen Selene and Zephyr stand face to face, their eyes locked in a silent battle of wills. Around them, the sandstorm warriors and the queen's loyal guards stand poised for conflict their weapons glinting in the harsh desert sunlight. For a moment, it seems as though the very air itself holds its breath, waiting for the first blow to be struck. Then, with a roar like thunder, the two forces clash, the sound of steel on steel ringing out across the desert. In the midst of the chaos, Queen Selene and Zephyr fight side by side, their skills as warriors matched only by their determination to emerge victorious. With each stroke of their blades, they carve a path through the enemy ranks, their movements a deadly dance of death and destruction. But even as they fight, they know that the true battle lies not on the field of war, but in the hearts and minds of those they seek to rule. Chapter 5, The Sands of Destiny. As the dust settles and the echoes of battle fade into the distance, Queen Selene and Zephyr stand alone amidst the ruins of their dreams. The desert stretches out before them, vast and unyielding, its secrets buried beneath layers of sand and time. In the end, neither ruler has emerged victorious, their ambitions tempered by the harsh realities of life in the desert. Yet, as they gaze out across the dunes, they know that their journey is far from over. For in the shifting sands of destiny, there are no winners or losers, only those who dare to carve their own path through the wilderness and forge their own destiny amidst the unforgiving sands of time.